Good morning everybody. Uh, today I am coming to you from my car. I took a drive out into an area pretty deep in the Lockyer Valley here in Queensland this morning um, to try and catch a sunrise, but it's been raining all morning. Um, I mean, I'm not quite at sunrise yet. I'm still probably 10 or 15 minutes off and then it'll be a bit later here because of the mountains, but it's just not gonna happen. Um, it is very misty though, which is lovely. So I might still be able to get some photos. Um, I'll have a bit of a hunt around in a minute now that I can see. This area I came across just by scrolling through Google Maps, trying to find areas where I might get some nice compositions. Um, and then I've got a couple of mates who live out here in the Lockyer Valley, sort of not this far out, but in the region. And I asked them if they'd been out here before. And Ads, who's featured in a video or two of mine briefly, um, he comes running out here a lot. So, and I've seen some pictures he's taken on his runs out here and just didn't realize where it was and the area is beautiful. So anyway, I decided to come out here and try and grab sunrise. So I left Brisbane nice and early at 3.30 and got out here and it's been raining most of the time. But I'm just gonna have a bit of a scout around, see what I get. I think there's gonna be some nice compositions anyway. I did bring a couple of cameras with me. So I've got the Hasselblad, of course, um, with two lenses, the 60 millimeter and the 150 millimeter, pretty much the only two lenses I use. Uh, I also brought my EM1 Mark II, uh, my Olympus with me, with the 12-40 f2.8 Pro and the 40-150 f2.8 Pro, um, as well as my drone. So I've got a couple of options for cameras. If it's raining, I'm not going to use the Hasselblad, but the, weather, the Olympus is weather sealed, so that's all good. Um, but I'm just going to go and have a bit of a hunt around and see what I can find. So I just drove even further along um, Mulgawi Road until the little town called Townsend, which is even smaller than Thornton where I was. Just checking out the terrain because there's no rush with this kind of light. Um, and I've just pulled over and I found a little composition. Uh, I'm just waiting for the rain to, to stop because it wasn't raining while I set up and then it started to actually rain. So I've got my both my tripod set up out there. Um, I've even taken a meter reading, I've loaded the Hasselblad in case I get to use it, and I've put some preliminary settings in the Olympus. I'm just waiting for the rain to ease off a little bit before I go out there and shoot it. I don't know if it's going to be amazing, but it should just have, it's got some mountains with the forest and some layers of mist, so it might be pretty nice. Um, and after that, I might head back towards Thornton where I was. There's that sort of Dipple Road and Bonnell Road where I pulled over originally. There's some great compositions around there to explore as well. But hopefully this rain uh, stops in a minute or two, just eases back enough to get out there, at least with the Olympus. I'd love to use the Hasselblad. The shop might look really nice with the Hasselblad. I loaded a roll of Fuji Chrome Velvia. So Fuji's uh, slow speed 50 ISO slide film, which I absolutely love. Um, it might be a little bit cool in terms of white balance out here for Velvia, but you know, we'll see what happens. I do have a warming filter in my bag anyway, so, but if the rain doesn't stop, I'm not gonna get the blad out, so we'll see what happens. So I framed up my composition, just looking out towards the hills. A lot of the mist did start to clear, basically when the rain stopped, as you might expect. But I think I've still got a fairly nice shot here. Um, I've got the, the hassle blad out because it's not raining, so I'm gonna go two seconds. Um, I've got a three stop soft grad filter on there because the sky is about three stops brighter actually than the uh, foreground. So I'm just gonna grab that composition now. There we go, so two seconds. I had the mirror up um, at F11. Uh, that's that composition done. Uh, I did spot there's some beautiful mist on the mountains just over to the east there which i think is the little liverpool mountain range they call that i want to run over and see if there's a spot i can put the tripod to grab that shot because that is actually beautiful right now i can't really get in near the fence to where I want to be to take that shot. So I might see if I can just quickly throw the long lens on the Hasselblad and just see if I can shoot it from the side of the road here. So I've got this shot framed up with the 150 millimeter looking out toward the mountain. Um, F11, one second. 
I've got the grad filter on again. I'll, I might actually show you this composition after I grab this shot. There we go. It's just with the, it's got some moving, some clouds moving over on the mountain over there. Just looks absolutely wonderful. Um, I've got a little bit of the grass in the foreground here, which I didn't want, but without climbing up on top, the top of my car, which I'd rather not do with this camera, I'm not going to be able to get rid of that. So I'll show you this scene that I'm looking at. So this is what I'm looking at over to this little hill here. I've just got that cloud there, or what was of that cloud before, moving across the hill there. And I sort of, my composition is sort of similar to this, but think in a square format. So I think I've gotten what I'm going to get here. So I might head back towards uh, Thornton a little bit there and head back where I saw those nice rolling hills. Hopefully it's not too late. Hopefully there's still a little bit of mist hanging around. So I've just pulled over again on the side of the road, just on a little road called uh, Dipple Road here near Thornton. I just see there's a nice hill just out there on the other side of this farmland. that might look nice with the clouds in the background. I don't think I'm going to get any you know, outstanding pictures today because the light is just a bit flat. But it's still nice to come out and you know, you've got to be in it to win it. If you never get out of the house, you're never going to get any good landscape photos. Just setting up the tripod on this little bit uneven ground. So for my first shot here, maybe only my only shot, I'm not sure yet, I've got something fairly simple. I've just got a bit of the uh, the brown farmland. It's just been ploughed sort of thing uh, in my foreground. Then I've got the hill with the trees on it in the centre of my frame. And then I've got a little bit of the mountain behind and the cloud and sky as the background. So I've still got this grad filter in. And that sky is a bit harsh, so. So more framed up. I've focused just to infinity, which is the hill in the background anyway. I'm just going to take a quick meter reading. So I'm getting at f16 one second, which is about what I thought I might get. Yeah. Might just grab this shot now. One second, f16, mirror locked up, ready to go. There we go. So I'm up to my seventh frame out of 12. I might see if there's another composition just looking out to this mountain here. I'm not sure if it'll be nice, but it's worth having a look while we're here. So I've got a really nice composition here now, just by repositioning my, my camera, looking at this little mountain I've got over here. Um, so I'm just gonna meter for this one. I've got focus, I'm gonna shoot it at F16 again. Uh, let me just meter for that. It'll probably be the same exposure. I'm getting half a second at f16. I might actually stop it down to f22 and go for that full second because I do have a little bit more in the foreground so it might just help to keep that nice and sharp. There we go, f22. One second. Mirror lock up. There we go. I'll just quickly show you what that what I was looking at as well. It's a really nice scene out here. So this is that mountain I was looking at. I'll zoom in. That's uh, that's it there. My composition. I sort of had this little plant and that mountain. So it's very nice. Uh, it looked slightly clearer, I think, when I took my picture, which is a good thing. It's a bit hazy there now. But I think I finished here, so I might just head for a bit more of a drive around. Actually, it'll take me slightly closer to that mountain to Main Camp Creek Road, which is just on basically probably on the other side of this farm. Um, and that actually heads towards the uh, trailhead for the start of the Scenic Rim Trail as well. I'm not going to be checking that out today, but I'm just going to go around there, see if there's some more shots with any of that sort of low cloud and mist around the mountains.
Right now I am sitting at the trailhead of the Scenic Rim Trail here at the Thornton View Nature Reserve. Uh, I'm not planning on walking it today at all or, or checking too much out. I just thought I'd come and have a look because I do plan to do this, this track one day. It's a three night, four day walk, uh, 47 kilometers I think it is, uh, starting here at the Nature Reserve and heading up through the Main Range National Park, uh, right up to where you start the Mount Cordeaux track at Cunningham's Gap. Um, so it'd be really, really cool to do. I think it'd be cool to do it with, say, Andy, Ads, and Robin would be into it. Um, they class it as a grade five track, so it's pretty, pretty tough in parts. But yeah, it'd be really cool. But anyway, I just thought I'd stop here and have a look. Um, I might grab a photo while I'm here. There's just some nice, well, it's a nature reserve, some nice nature here. So I might just have a bit of a wander when this rain stops and see if there's something interesting out here. I found something that I'm gonna shoot here with the Hasselblad. Uh, it's like a, kind of like an ant's nest, an ant's mound maybe. There's no ants there, I'm not sure. It's a, it's a mound of red dirt, surrounded by some nice yellowy green grass. I'm getting a bit wet walking over there, but that's all right. Just through the grass here. Uh, I just took a, did a test composition. I didn't actually shoot it. Oh, well, I did a bit earlier, but I just did a test composition with the Olympus to make sure that I have got my tripod relatively in a good spot so that I can shoot this and then I might sort of head back down towards Thornton. I just noticed that my last clip didn't record where I ran you through the exposure and took the shots of the, the red mound here. Um, so I'll just run you through it now. I took two frames. Uh, I shot at f5. 0.6 to try and keep a relatively narrow depth of field and I did two exposures because of the the low dynamic range of Velvia. I did the first one at a quarter of a second and the second one at an eighth of a second and we'll see which one looks best. I am going to pack up here now at the Thornton View Nature Reserve um, and head back towards Thornton. There is a composition I might have spotted before there that I might like to grab. I've got three frames left on this roll. I may or may not use them but we'll see what happens. I've just seen this composition as I was driving along the road. I think it's Mount Mistake I'm looking at. It's, um, it just rises up, not that far out from where I'm standing, quite steeply, and it's covered in clouds on the top with a fair bit of forest in front. It's a little bit messy, but it's not bad. I've got the 60 mil on, although that may be a mistake. Might be a bit too wide. Put this framed up, but I might quickly just switch to the 150mm and see how that goes, see if it's not too, too long, because this is quite wide. Okay, so I've just got the 150 on. Actually, that's looking a little bit better. It's probably a little tighter than I might like, but it's, I think it's a bit better than being as wide as it was, because the 60 was really quite wide. The good thing about using the 150 mil is you can quite clearly see some of the defined trees up the side of the mountain, and it looks like it was got hit by the bushfires that were not all that long ago really, 2019, 2020. I'm just gonna grab my light meter and meter for the scene. So I wanna shoot at F16, I'm getting one quarter of a second at F16 for the foliage on the side of the mountain. If I look down, looking up towards the sky is three stops brighter, which is what I might have expected. So I might grab that grad filter out again and pop that on and just bring that down towards the top of the mountain to bring that sky back in. Okay, so I've got that grad filter in and I've got it where I like it with the sky. So, got focus. I'm gonna go F16 and quarter of a second. 
take my dark slide out, lock up my mirror. There we go. I took that frame twice because I think I, I mucked something up. Um, my cable release didn't unrelease properly, so I think I bumped the camera and I'll probably have a shaky picture. Uh, so I took the shot again, which means I only have one shot left on this roll of Elvia, which is good. Um, this wasn't the, <laughs> the composition I mentioned that I was going to check out, so there is one just a bit back further down there. It may or may not work out now that the mists are sort of rising a little bit, um, but I'll check that out and see, and that might be the end of the day if I get it. So I found my final composition for the morning. I've just pulled over looking across a field. I've got some mountains in the background, far distance, some hills a bit closer, a couple of nice trees, and then some nice yellow green grass, more yellow. So I framed it up. Unfortunately, I have a bit of a tree over here on the left, but I can't do much about that. I don't have enough zoom, but it works. I've got it framed so it works fairly well. I'm at f16 in one eighth of a second. And this is it, so take that dark slide out, mirror up, and there we go. So that is going to be my last frame for the morning. Now with slide film, I can't get that developed locally, so I send that off to a lab in Sydney called Rewind Photo Lab, and they develop it for me, and then they'll send it back and I'll scan it. Well, that's me done for the morning. I got that last frame there looking over that field and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm sorry this video may have seemed a little bit disjointed. I just, I didn't know any compositions before I came out here. I hadn't scouted the area. I just decided to wing it. You know, you've got to be in it to win it. Um, I didn't get a sunrise, but I did get some nice photos, I think. At least they looked that way through my viewfinder. I can't wait to get that film developed and scanned so I can get this video up for you guys. Thank you so much for coming along. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel too. Leave any comments if you have any. Otherwise, I can't wait to see you again next time.